guys, welcome to Dutch Modeling. This is another inbox review. This is the AFV Club 105mm How Witcher M101A1 and the carriage M2A2. Uh, it's a self propelled yeah, well, artillery piece, not even self propelled, it's just an artillery piece. Uh, let's see, I never built something of AFV, I never opened even a kit of an AFV, so I'm gonna see what this is. Uh, it says new tooling, modified two layer shield. So there's some yeah, deco placements here. Here's something special. Looks like there's something special there. Let's turn around to see what it says. Uh, shield trails and lunette can be posed in firing or travel mode. The kit provides several types of pinless, pintless for vehicle hauling. No clue what it means, but it's that. Uh, so deco placements, the, the coloring, uh, it's real rubber and blah de blah. Uh, the traverse of the gun is seeable, and yeah, I like the box art. So let's see what's inside. Well, it's a closed. Bo oh. That's nice. The first surprise, and this kind of surprise I like. Open it. Open it completely. Is looks like to be a metal barrel, a one-piece metal barrel. That's nice. That's very nice. Didn't know that. Uh, rubber, rubber tires with spruce inside. No clue why. Yeah, they're rubbery. Yeah, you can see. But so, yeah. And a small. It's also rubber. Some spacers. Or bushings, or how those things are called. Probably so the wheels can be rotated, even when placed. Workable wheels. Well, next up, we got another sprue here. Let's open it again. Preparation is all, they say, and I didn't prepare at all, I see. A whole lot of small stuff. Sorry, I don't see. A whole lot of small thingies, be uh, which I don't have a clue. I'm looking at. This seems like and there's some kind of aiming device. Uh, see, it's all very small, and it's all as far as I can see. Ah, oh, not com yeah. Well, the parts are uh, flat without flesh. This far, well, here's a little bit, but that's no, that doesn't count. Nice, nice. I don't. It's very nice detailed. Very straight. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. The next sprue, more small things. Sesame open. Let's see. You can see all the small things. Looking nice again. It will be the arms or stabilizers or how you call them. You see. I got some adjusting wheels, handles, springs. Uh, levers, all kinds of very small parts, and all again without flesh, without burring. Some pretty nice small detail. 
Dus die. Uh... Uh, well, on the, I don't know how you call them in English. Maybe I can show you. On top of this. It's like... Yeah, well... Oh, we got little tooth. Teeth, teeth, little teeth. So... It's very nice. Nice little detail. Nice, a lot of nice small parts, thin small parts, but still no flesh. But that's nice. Next we got... Okay, now I wonder something. Maybe I'm seeing it wrong. I think I see a machine gun. Why would this thing have a machine gun? But I could be wrong, but no, I'm not wrong. No, that's a machine gun for sure. Yeah. You see? A machine gun. 50 cal, if I correct. And don't even correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah. That I didn't expect. Again, levers, wheels, uh, parts of the undercarriage. Again, all small. And again, no flash, no burring. Okay, this must be the smallest part I've seen so far. Number one. I don't even know the camera picked it up. There is something on top of it. It's a part. You see? It isn't broken off, it's still in place. Wow. That's small. Another sprue. Oh, this is the uh, armor plating. Inside of the wheels, I'm gonna keep it in camera. Uh, yeah, oh, the plating here, there, 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 with detailing on very thin, very thin plastic. I don't know if you can, I can see it show it sideways. Probably not. Let's see that one. Very thin plastic. Styrene, sorry. See? But nice detail. See on that one. And you see stress marks already. It's that thin. I just can't. The light shines through it, so it's so thin. So that's, that isn't that nice. And that for armor plating supposed to be thick. Let's see if I can get those details in there better. You see? It's nice. Again, no flash. But I yeah, I said it's it's thin. Yeah, you can bend it easily. I don't think battle damage will be very much occurring on those things. They're far away from the front. Hey, I got another little surprise. I show you in a minute. First, the next sprue. Spruce, multiple in one bag. Probably the uh, twin spruce. Uh, yep, two exactly the same spruce. So. The wheels. Uh you see wheels here, the rims, uh, and all kinds of, yeah, all kinds of some kind of equipment for the howitzer, field artillery, field gun, call it what you want, that's it. So I, I yeah, I know this, these are rims for inside the rubber wheels, but, uh, yeah, that's about where it ends for me, so. I can't tell you much about what I'm looking at. 
En dat Oh, hij heeft geopend dus. Hier is exact de little surprise. If it will come out. Come out, come out. Two pieces of... Three pieces, of, uh, actually. Yeah, three pieces. You got photo edge there. And there. That's also a photo edge. So, something is pressed inside that. I think it's a... Uh, mark of some kind, I don't know, but I got uh, tools and primarily change, change, I was in, uh, yeah, towing change, not little money. And the decals, 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 I call them decal decals, it's easier. And if you want to call them a different way, You do that. I don't. Print it in Taiwan. Not too bad. They're all over the place. But I can deal with that. Let's see if I can catch the light on this. Yeah, you can see. That's what I wanted. You see? Get the reflection. They're nice. Thin. Very thin. So nice decals. Decals. De That's someone really would should tell the world what the precise name of the thing is. Decals, decals. Because I keep changing my mind. Oh, the inside of the box, they also got a Tiger 1, a Tiger final version, and an early version, and a lot of Tiger 1 workable tracks, and new 2007s. I don't think this kid is that old. Six, seven years. That's not old. I just built a kit out of 75, so this isn't old. The instructions, blah, 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 telling me... Uh, World War One, World War Two, blood, 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 blood. Yeah. Oh. Printed in color. Nice. Camos. ROC Army Salute Battery and Korean Army. The colors are bronze green, leather brown and tar black for the ROC Army Salute Battery or flat black Redome What the is Redome? Enlighten me, what is Redome? Redome That one This Redome I don't know what it is uh, uh, dark earth and RLM 71 dark green Nice Color print Like that <coughs> Let's see We got uh, The color call out in Mr. Hobby color Hobby color, Mr. Color and Mr. Color spray We got it in Humbro, in Ravel and in Life color Which they say the bronze green, leather green, tar black are only available in Mr. Color. Yeah, sure. And the Redome will be another DR06 in life color. Okay, well. Uh, a little story about the 105 Howitzer. Well, howitzer, 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 self-propelled, howitzer, 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 M10. What does the M10 have to do with the 105 howitzer? It isn't the same gun. Look. Well, what I'm looking at, why well, I'm looking at the instructions. They want me to do something with springs without glue, so it's a workable suspension let's see 
that looks like a recoil system. So it's gonna be a re uh, recoil edition A. Does it say what it stands for? No, it does not. So this is A. It says here A. You see? A. I don't know what A is. Uh, blah blah blah. Wood brass, wood brown. Okay, you want to color it before firing, holding position, firing position. Okay, down or up? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do it like this so you can read with me. Uh, these marker sticks. So don't come closer than this, or I will blow off your hand. Uh, photo. How it's supposed to be, hauling position, firing position. To what? Is G1? No, what is in hauling? What am I looking at here? Okay, connected to the Bar connect that connected. That one connected to there is firing position. Uh huh. Not the easiest instructions, people. Or it's just me. I'm used to very easy instructions. I don't know. Narrow side down. Yeah, I have to be. I'm going to be studying this. That's for sure, and it's not so. The way I look at this now, I'm just going. Uh, 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 it says brass, so I guess it will be photo edge. Steel, or is it the color? Yeah. The machine gun on top of the barrel. Yeah, machine gun on top of the barrel. Hmm. Yeah. US Army, US Army 2, US Army. Oh, wait a minute. These are the uh, deco placements already. But then, here. They place the machine gun, as you can see there, there, on top of the barrel. Where did that machine gun go? Wait, where did that machine gun go? Or, no machine gun. So, how accurate is that machine gun on top of there? I don't know. I got e hey, I even got an parts replacement form when something is broke or missing. That service. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, as far as the spruce go, it looks very nice. The very a lot of small parts, so with my big hands it will be a challenge. As far as the instructions go, it will be even a bigger challenge. But I'm gonna build this for the ISM Steel Rain, which uh, GB, which will start tomorrow. Depending on watching this, it's now Sunday evening, so it's the I don't know. I can watch because there's my phone and that says what the date is. Uh, at least it's the 17th, I think, then, so far, as soon, but something like that. I think it starts tomorrow, so this is what I'll be building. I'm going to upload this now so everybody can see it. And I'll start probably next weekend. It's the first chance I'll get. Uh, so, product review. Kit looks great. Instructions. I don't know yet, I didn't build it, but looking at them, they're pretty hard. So, wish me luck. I say good luck to you, happy modeling, and we'll see each other. Goodbye.